Welcome traders to Tidmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 2nd of November with me, Patrick Mundley. In the US, the data calendar is extremely heavy next week and the usually important FOMC meeting and US labour market report will really play second fiddle to the presidential election on Tuesday. The market seems to be positioned for a blue wave scenario which would translate into a weaker US dollar due to the mix of expectations of large US fiscal stimulus, which would benefit cyclical FX. Uh, subsequent confirmation of the low real rates for longer as the Fed would stay behind the curve, as well as the anticipated return to rules-based system for international relations, thus benefiting the safe haven dollar much less. All this should be positive for risk assets and higher beta G10 currencies, but weigh on the dollar. Key risks, obviously, are a delayed or contested election results, both of which would lead to heightened volatility uh, and much, ra uh, much broader ranges than usual, um, and both of which for the uh, dollar index and other G10 crosses. In terms of the delayed election results scenario, the three swing states of Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin don't start counting postal ballots until the election day, so there could be delays. However, if some big states such as Florida or Texas show Biden's victory, the picture will get clearer much earlier. Data-wise, the FOMC should retain a dovish bias on Thursday, being ready to do more should it be necessary, while Friday's US jobs report is likely to show a further loss of momentum. But what is normally the key US data points uh, will probably be background noise for next week. Uh, dollar index continues to trade within the uh, range that we've been looking at over the past several weeks. So whilst we hold this 92.30 area, we're now up into range resistance coming in at the uh, 94 handle. As this range continues to contain price action, uh, this would favor a downside break to challenge the ideal um, fifth wave projected low at the 90 handle. However, if uh, Due to the election or outcome scenarios being less clear, the dollar breaks higher. Look for a test of 94.76 en route to an equality objective at 95.42. In terms of the uh, euro dollar, after the strongly dovish ECB meeting last week, um, negative implications for the euro, the euro USD price action. Uh, for next week will be about the US factors, with the results of the US presidential election being the key driving factor. It seems at this point, as the blue wave outcome is likely to be positive for the euro dollar, largely due to its negative impact on the dollar, and should push the pair higher again. Whilst positive for the euro dollar, the euro should nonetheless lag most of its G10 peers. On the domestic eurozone front, it's a very quiet week with September retail sales on Thursday, expected to have a negligible impact on the euro. Rather, more focus will be on the evolution of the COVID situation in Europe and the impact of rising restrictive measures on growth outlook. Still, the ECB already pre-committed to act in December and are not ruling out using all available instruments. Another bad news is now priced into the euro. That's also why a market-friendly result for the US presidential election could uh, be a positive catalyst for the euro. Given the current price action, as we hold uh, 118.84 as resistance, we now have an equality objective uh, to the downside at 114.79, uh, just below that 150, uh, those 115 support area that uh, we talked about in last week's live market analysis session. So uh, holding below 118, look for a test of this 115 before basing to set another move to retest and potentially overcome the 120 barrier. In the UK, sterling's benefits and should continue benefiting from the potential uh, prospects of a UK-EU trade deal. The period of negative headline news has ceased and although there have been no official reports, the news flow suggests that progress is being made towards a deal around mid-November, second half of November. The overriding importance of this domestic driver has kept sterling fairly immune from global factors. On the domestic front, uh, the focus will be on the Bank of England meeting. A further monetary stimulus looks inevitable, and markets expect the increase in quantitative easing of around £100 billion. As for the issue of negative interest rates, the BOE should refrain from it, pointing to the ongoing review of its effectiveness and its impact on banking sector profitability. 
this point, the odds of a negative rate are being tied up with the UK-EU trade negotiation outcome. As the BOE should keep interest rates unchanged, and the Q expectation is widely expected, its impact should be relatively shallow on sterling. However, news this weekend that England is returning to national restrictive measures for one month from Thursday was likely to weigh on sterling at the beginning of the week. From a technical perspective, uh, sterling was holding this interim channel support at 12880. Um, looking at uh, the potential for a weak opening, I anticipate that that will give way and we should see a test uh, at a minimum of the 127. 40, 127.50 area, which is the projected ascending trend line support. A failure to find bids here would actually see us trade lower to the equality objective at 123.76 before potentially stabilizing. So a couple of key areas to pay attention to at the beginning of the week for sterling. In terms of the yen, it looks set to be a key beneficiary of any surprise result from Tuesday's election. The recent uptick in dollar yen implied volatility around the election day tenor is a sign traders have started to feel less relaxed around the vote and the perceived probability of alternative scenarios to the market friendly blue wave appears to have risen. However, the market's pricing appears still heavily tilted towards a Biden win. And if the polls are not to be trusted, then the balance of risks for the yen is surely tilted to the upside next week. One factor to surely take into consideration is the possibility of delays in the results. We may not get clarity about a definitive winner until later in the week. Should this be the case, volatility and uncertainty may be shaking global markets and the dollar yen will find some good support before potentially falling later on a Biden uh, win if that becomes the outcome. So from a technical perspective, as we head into the beginning of the week, uh, we have been tra uh, testing this ascending uh, trend line support, broke through, but will quickly close back through it again on Thursday and another bullish reversal on Friday. Should see prices extend up now to test the descending trend line at 106. However, if we do fail below the 104, then look for a very quick retest of the prior lows down towards 101 before potentially stabilizing again. And last but not least, in Australia, the 3rd of November is uh, going to be a pivotal day for the Aussie dollar. The Reserve Bank of Australia's rate decision will be released at 3.30 GMT on the 3rd of November and is one of the most awaited in a long time. Economists' consensus and market pricing are widely expecting a 15 basis point cut to the cash rate. Um, some market watchers don't agree and expect the RBA to adjust from a yield target of QE to a volume of probably about $100 billion of Australian uh, currency target and start buying longer dated bonds. Still, the RBA impact is set to be rather short lived and will soon be mixed up with the election results, which may start to take shape on the night of Tuesday, although more than one day may be needed before a clear winner emerges. While delays would likely keep the whole pro cyclical FX space under pressure, uh, Australian dollar may be a key outperformer in the case of a Biden landslide. Uh, the likely, uh, this scenario is currently touted as most likely by the polls, but we'll have to see if they do deliver. From a technical perspective, as the Australian, as the Australian dollar trades below uh, the pivot here at 72.43, we have an equality objective on the downside at 69.07. Uh, a failure to find support here would then open a move to test the 67 handle. However, if we do catch a bid at the 69 level, then we can reasonably expect that uh, we will find a retest of the 72.43 before looking at a retest of price cycle highs up to the 74. Obviously, the catalyst for that move would be a Biden clean sweep. So we are certainly in for an interesting and potentially wild week in terms of markets. Um, Join me on Thursday once the dust hopefully will have settled a little bit when we can assess uh, the emerging trends in the markets coming out of the back end of the election. That's 1pm 1, uh, 1 GMT on Thursday for my live market analysis session. And that's all for now. Thanks very much and have a profitable week.